soon. I'm gonna have to hose you down. Oh, <laughs> hey, where's Rebo? That's what we'd like to know. He's been gone for hours. He left to get us tickets for the Doobie Brothers concert. Hey, man, I can't wait to see him. Can you believe the Doobie Brothers are at our school, man? Well, I got my ticket. Wait in line all last night. Look at that. All night? Back. Weren't mm -hmm. you afraid of being mugged? Nah. Who would mug her? <laughs> Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> well, where is Rerun? Maybe he got caught in traffic. No, Rerun is traffic. <laughs> I bet the doobies make a lot of money. No, here they're donating the money to pay for the new band instruments. Oh. Man, they are too much. Speaking of too much. <laughs> hey, guys, what's happening? What's happening, Rerun? Did you get good seats? Are you kidding? Nobody has seats like these. Ah, great. Where are we sitting? Well, we're not right on top of the stage. Uh -huh. But we're close. 10th, 11th row. Back away. 20th? Back. We run. There's only 25 rows in the school gym. I know. So where are we sitting? The corner of 138th and Manchester. <laughs> what? Well, wait, I can explain. You see, there was a long line to get tickets. So to keep up my strength, I stopped at a hamburger stand. So what? Oh, by the time I got back, they were out of tickets. <laughs> so because you were hungry, we get nothing. Well, you want a french fry? <laughs> oh, rerun. What are we going to do now, Ron? We can still get tickets. How? The concert's for charity, isn't it? Yeah. Let's beg. <laughs> that one looked like a gopher. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I'm, I'm on the school paper. Maybe I can get a press pass. Oh, great, but what'll I do? Well, how about your father? I mean, he's a councilman. He should be able to pull a few strings. Hmm, I don't know if he'll be able to help me. See, I'm not old enough to vote yet. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's worth a try. Yeah, hey, hey, wait a minute. What about me? I want to hear the doobies, too. You got a quarter? Yeah. Then play it on the jukebox. <laughs> you want something to eat, Rerun? Yeah, I have a hot dog. Right. With uh, french fries? Right. <laughs> <clears throat> say, um... Uh, say, brother, excuse me. I don't mean to seem nosy, but, uh... I just heard that you couldn't get no tickets for the Doobie concert, man. That is too bad, because the Doobie Brothers are some beautiful guys. Woo! <laughs> you know them? Man, me and the Doobies go back a long time. Really? Yeah, really. Uh, Al Dunbar. Rerun. Rerun. Well, look here, Rerun. Here you go, my man. Wow! <laughs> Three front row seats. That's right, brother. They for you. Mine? Mm hmm What's the catch? Hey, come on now, man. There ain't no catch. I just want you to do me and the uh, doobies a favor. I'd like to do the doobies a favor. What is it? I want you to record the concert. Me? How can I record the concert? Easy, rerun. Just take a tape recorder inside at the beginning and turn it on and turn it off at the end. Why don't you do it? <laughs> Look, I would love to, man, really love to. But if the Doobie Brothers see me, they're going to start hollering, let's sing this one for Brother Al, huh? And they won't be themselves, and we want them to be themselves. You understand? Okay, no problem. Fine. But look here. Just don't tell a soul, because big stars like that get all nervous and shy when they know they're being recorded. Don't worry. Wow. Way to ride and Dwayne hear about this. Hey, man, I said don't tell a soul, all right? Now, look. Why don't you meet me back here about 7.30 and I'm going to supply you with the tape recorder, right? And the tickets. I'll be here. Right. And to seal the deal, I'm going to give you a professional sound man salary for a day. Wow. Four bucks. <laughs> Dad. Hey, hi, hi. <laughs> this is your son. Uh, uh, Dad, I need a favor. See, you got to get me in to see the Doobie Brothers. They're playing at our school. Yeah, they're a rock group. Well, that's sort of like an orchestra. <laughs> Dad, how old are you? <laughs> huh, never mind. Yeah, OK, right, right, bye. Sorry, Raj. 
Well, we still have one more chance. I'll call the Doobie Brothers and try to get a press pass from them. Well, how are you going to call them? I mean, they're nobody like you. <laughs> or me. They've got people who talk to nobodies like us. They're called public relations people. Now, they're at the Bedford Hotel. D, I have to use the phone. Raj, let me remind you, who lives in this house besides you? You? And when you live in another person's house with another person, shouldn't you ask permission to use what's in another person's hand? Okay, may I use the phone? May I use the phone what? May I use the phone, please? When I'm finished. <laughs> Dee, this is important. So is this. Betty, you'll never guess what we got in our house today. A pay telephone. If you want to use the phone, you have to pay a quarter. <laughs> Ah, hello there. Uh, the Doobie Brothers room, please. And I'll speak with any Doobie who do be in. <laughs> ah, hello there. <clears throat> I be Roger Thomas. Which Doobie you be? <laughs> ah, the press man. Very good. I'm the editor of Jefferson High Gazette, the home and alma mater of a Doobie Brother. And I like a press pass. Great! Great! Oh, thank you. <laughs> and you keep on pressing. <laughs> you did it. You got us some tickets, Rob. No, I didn't. But uh, I did get an interview for this afternoon. Well, all right. At least we'll get to meet him. Yeah, but I wanted to go to the concert. Come in. Hey, what's happening? Oh, it's you. Okay, if you don't care that I got tickets, I'll leave. Goodbye. Oh, wait. 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 <laughs> what tickets? Well, just the three front row seats I got. But I can leave. Goodbye. Oh, come on, Rerun. You're kidding. Let me see them. Well, I'm going to pick them up tonight at 7.30 before the concert. How'd you get them? I met a guy in the soda shop who works for the Doobies. He gave them to me. And that's all I can tell you on an empty stomach. Dwayne? <laughs> well, that's great. Three front row seats, Rerun. Let me get this straight. Rerun, you say some guy walked up to you in the soda shop and gave you three front row seat tickets free of charge with no strings attached. Yeah! And Rod, you believe him? Well, yeah. And Dwayne, you too? I guess so, yeah. You three really deserve each other. Roger, honey. Roger, I'm gonna be out shopping for a while, and I want you to watch Dean till I get back. I've made other plans. Yeah, so have I. I'm interviewing the Doobie Brothers this afternoon. That happens to be my plan, too. D, you can't go. Mama, this is official business. I, I, I can't do that and watch her, too. Okay, go ahead, Raj. But just remember, there's a little girl in this big house with nothing to do but go in her brother's secret drawer. You can go. Well, now that that's all over, I'll see you two later. <laughs> see you later, Miss T. Bye, Miss Tommy. Okay, see you, Mom. Bye, baby. And Roger, take good care of your sister. I'll go with you, Roger. This is to keep an eye on D. Me too, so I can keep an eye on rerun. Okay? Oh, great. Now, how am I going to sneak three extra people in? Easy. We'll all hide behind rerun. You want to try that? Yeah, you want to do another one? Echoes again?
concert. Ah, uh, but I'm here for the interview. We're well, rehearsing right now. No, you listen. We're your fans, and without your fans, you wouldn't be here rehearsing. You guys, listen, it's that's fine and well, but usually we... And don't talk when I'm in the middle of a sentence. Okay, okay. Uh, excuse me, but who is this kid? Uh, my sister. Dee, will you come on and sit down? I know what I'm doing. Whatever you want to know, just ask. I would like to know if you'll give my brother an interview for the high school paper. There's no problem. Okay, man. Hey, all right! All right. Yeah. But first, I want to know if you'll sing another song. How about Little Darling? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and let's dedicate this song to our little darling. <laughs> Thanks. But this time, a little more bass. <laughs> That's Rerun, and that's Dwayne. Hey, hey, Rerun. Really? Really? Hey, hey, hey. They're not bright, but at least their house broke. <laughs> hey, hey, Rerun. I remember you from Miss Phillips' class. Hey, hey, that's right. Nice to see you came back for the concert. Came back? I'm still here. <laughs> uh, can we get on with the interview? All oh, right. Uh, let me get you guys' names down, OK? Well, I'm Keith. This is Michael, Jeffrey, Tyran. Patrick down at the end, Bobby, and this is John. Got it. The Doobie Brothers. Were you a half brother? <laughs> well, we're not really related. We just sort of depend on each other, you know, a lot like you do with your brother Raj. You're in big trouble. <laughs> anyway, you guys are our favorite rock group. Hey, thanks, Raj. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah. Speak for yourself, Raj. Nothing personal. You're just a little before my time. Oh? <laughs> Who's your favorite group? The Jackson Four. Jackson wait a minute, wait a minute. That's the Jackson Five. 
No, the Jackson 4. I'm not too crazy about one. <laughs> well, no matter. After tonight, I'm sure that we'll be one of your favorite rock groups. I don't want to go to your concert. Besides, I don't have a ticket. Oh, oh it's okay. Don't, yeah. uh, don't worry about it. You can come with me. You don't need a ticket. You can be my guest. <laughs> you know, you guys might catch on. <laughs> <laughs> now we can go together. Lovely. Hey, guys, I really love your new album, Living on the Fort Lines. Uh, yeah, so do I. Yeah. Hey, well, uh, what's your biggest problem? I mean, what gets you the craziest? Yeah. Yeah. When engine goes off. Say, it's definitely bootlegging. Yeah. Bootlegging? Yeah, bootlegging. What's that? Uh, that's where somebody illegally records one of our concerts, you know, and sells it to the public. Yeah, what happens is, see, the record company doesn't make any money, we don't make any money, and, uh, the public gets a pretty bad recording. Well, how do they get away with it? Well, the bootlegger gets some gullible, unsuspecting, stupid kid, <laughs> gives him tickets and sets him up with a tape recorder to sneak in. Hmm. Well, what's wrong with that? It's the law, for one thing, Rira. And for another, if we catch anybody doing it, he's going to go to jail for a long time. Right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> well, can you guys just yell at him? <laughs> Hurry up, Rerun. Raj, what's with him? He's been acting weird all the way home. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Rerun! Man, this article's gonna be great. Hey, Raj, can I pose in the picture with the doobies after the concert? <laughs> well, maybe we'll all pose in one. It'll be something to show our kids someday. Right, Rerun? After tonight, I'll never see my kids. <laughs> How come? They don't allow kids in state penitentiaries. <laughs> what are you talking about? Bootlegging. But why are you worried about that? All the doobies said was that they usually set up some stupid kid with money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a recorder. Mm -hmm. And tickets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, rerun, you're going to jail. <laughs> rerun, you mean you're getting the tickets from a real bootlegger? Well, maybe the guy I met really does work for the doobies. Maybe my name's Olivia Newton-John. <laughs> well, what do you look like? A normal guy, just like me. You're in trouble. <laughs> well, look, uh, it's no big deal, we right? We'll forget the tickets, we won't go to the concert, and tell them the whole thing's off. But I'm scared. The guy doesn't know where you live. No, he found me in the soda shop. Then he does know where you live. <laughs> Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Now, look, there ain't no way that you are gonna back out of this, fathead. <laughs> no, listen! <laughs> I will blow the whistle on this whole operation. I am with the press. <laughs> oh, yeah? What paper? The Jefferson High Gazette. <laughs> the who? The Jefferson High School Gazette. Boy, you better sit down and pay attention. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, look, since your friend opened up his big mouth, you are all, all of you in this together. Uh-uh. What did you say? Uh-huh. <laughs> now, uh, first, now, you, you turn the uh, recorder on and off, right? And, and, and you... Uh... Oh, Mr. Dunbar, we really can't do this. Okay, kids, if you really can't do it, it's, it's fine with me. But see, you're going to have to tell Brother Bruno here that he's not going to get paid. Uh, <laughs> Brother Bruno, would you please pull up a chair so I can talk to you? Sure. Push this for record, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Next on what's happening, Rerun gets in more trouble with the Doobie Brothers.
Okay, the tape recorder's all set. How do I look? Like the Bionic Mountain. <laughs> oh, black water, keep on rolling. Mississippi, no, won't you keep on shining? Oh, oh, black water, keep on rolling. Mississippi, no, won't you keep on shining? Oh, oh, black water, keep on rolling. Mississippi, no, won't you keep on shining on me? Keep on shining your mind Gonna make everything Baby, mama gonna make everything all right And I ain't got no worries Ain't in no hurry at all At all Testing, testing, testing One, two, three, testing Fly me to the moon <laughs> And let me play <laughs> among the stars Be serious. Let me try. Help! <laughs> There's nobody in here. Boy, you better open that door. you guys were our friends. How could you guys do this to us? I'm sorry. We were forced. A guy gave us the recorder, money, and great seats. He really twisted your arm. Are you gonna go to jail? We really were forced. They said if we didn't do it, they'd hurt us. Hey, you expect us to believe that? Look, he may be dumb, but he doesn't lie. Well, was his name Al Dunbar by any chance? Yeah, how'd you know? Yeah. Because that was the guy that taped our concert in St. Louis. Yeah, and our L.A. concert. And moving high on the charts, the Jefferson High concert, number 40 with three bullets. 